Uncle Phil, you know violent crime has actually gone down, right? Fake news. Hurry in the shelter! Trump's launched the nukes! We're all gonna die! False flag. Stop crisis acting. Phil, you have nine tumors from the fallout. You're dying. Sigh up, Hokum. George Soros. Ah! <clears throat> Must have been the fluoridated water. <clears throat> You died, Phil. You're in heaven now. You have wings. You're an angel, just like us. Like I'm gonna believe a couple of social justice warriors. Uh, ew. Mm. And welcome back to Ally Man or Garbage Can. We have three bachelors who all love to post about being feminist allies, but only one of them is actually a good person. Our contestant today is Rebecca. Hi. I'm so nervous. Dating as a straight woman will do that. Let's meet our bachelors. Kyle has hashtag Black Lives Matter in his Twitter profile. Hi, Rebecca. I'm excited to respect you. Next is Mark, whose profile pic is him at the Women's March. Her body, her choice. Finally, there's Hunter. He's never uploaded a profile pic or used a hashtag. Hunter, how can we tell you're a good ally? I volunteer at a shelter. Oh, jeez. Oh, well, it's really hard to believe any of those guys could be creeps. It always is. I pick, uh, Kyle? Ooh, I'm sorry. Kyle dressed in blackface on Halloween just last year. And Mark doxed people over Gamergate. <laughs> Asking for it. The true ally was Hunter. Better luck next time. Wait, wait, wait. Hunter Bro 420, you just sent me a picture of your junk like an hour. Hour ago. Uh, um, uh, God, I thought we vetted this one. <laughs> okay, settle down, settle down. Welcome, everyone. We've got a great show tonight. Our first guest, you follow him on Twitter. He's verified. He's here plugging his new book, 14 Habits of Highly Effective Nazis. Please welcome Heinrich, the time traveling Nazi. Thank you. Thank you, white people. Thank you to the white people only. So, tell me about the book. Felt Mill, it's about how all non-Aryan people aren't even human and should be exterminated. Maybe we keep a few around for, like, crazy experiments. Like, what if you sewed a live tarantula inside someone's chest? Grab a Jew! Find out! You know, stuff like that. I hope you don't mean me. I'm an atheist. <laughs> Nine. You're cool, Mill. Hey! Why are you giving premium cable time to this Nazi? Hey, let the Nazi talk! The real fascism is interrupting! Not letting them talk is as bad as that tarantula thing! Can't stay out! Do you believe this shit? They got Nazis in there! Oh! You mean Heinrich the time-traveling Nazi? Oh, I'm a huge fan! <laughs> you gotta admit, that tarantula thing does sound pretty cool. Maybe you've heard this before. We just gave the American people a giant tax cut for Christmas, okay? You're welcome. Behind the new Republican tax bill is an old idea, trickle-down economics. Republicans frame their tax cuts as benefiting the middle class, but the people who benefit the most are big corporations and the wealthy. Ah, gets them every time! By 2027, 62% of the benefits of the tax plan will go to the top 1%. Fans of trickle-down argue that cutting taxes on the rich benefits everyone else down street. <laughs> for your retirement fund, honey. They say if we cut taxes on the rich, they'll invest those savings in their companies, raising wages, expanding operations, hiring new people. But we've tried trickle-down before. <laughs> yeah, when I wasn't starting wars or clearing brush, I like jelly beans. It doesn't work. Workers today are more productive than ever, but real wages have been completely stagnant since the 80s. When corporations and the wealthy get tax cuts, they mostly just sit on the money or pass it along to their stockholders or their children. We're self-made heirs. Many CEOs have said on the record they won't use the money from Trump's tax cuts to raise wages. Frankly, I think they are bonkers. No CEO sits there and says, when my tax rate goes down, I'm going to hire more people and pay them more. Instead of wealth trickling down, the 80% of Americans who make less than $100,000 will see their taxes go up. Meanwhile, taxes on the rich will still be cut. The system works! Wait, what? No, no, no. Thank you. It's a scam. And thanks to the tax cut, you're paying for it.